In this video, we'll be going over minimum depth of binary tree. So given binary tree, find its minimum depth. The minimum depth is the number of nodes along the shortest path from the root node down to the nearest leaf node. So a leaf node is a node with no children. So in our first example, we have uh, the root node at 3 and then our leaves at 9, 15, and 7. So the first path has two nodes, 1 and 2. The second path has 1, 2, and 3. And the third path has 1, 2, and 3. So we'll pick the smallest path which is 1 and 2, so I'll put 2. Let's go do a dot process. So we will implement a recursive depth first search approach. For each of the node x, we will first recursively find the minimum depth of the left subtree. Then find the minimum depth of the right subtree. Since we want the minimum depth at the current node, we will want to pick the smaller value between left and right and increment it by 1 to account for the current node, to account for x. We should note that a valid path is from root to leaf. any of the other paths are invalid. So let's go do a pseudocode. Let's validate the input parameter. If root is equal to null, then there are no nodes. So we're going to return zero for the minimum depth. Else we want to recursively find the minimum depth. And then what parameters do we need? node is the current node we're visiting and then what is the base case if node is equal to node this is an invalid path because our path is, is supposed to be root to leaf so we're going to return an error code so basically integer.max value a very large value so we'll never pick this path else and then if node if both of the children of node is equal to node that means we're currently at a leaf node. So this is going to be at the start of our depth. So we're going to return one. So in each of the recursive call, recursively find the depth of the left subtree. Or which is a minimal depth, min depth of the left subtree. And then recursively find the min def of the left of the right subtree. All right. And then we're going to return the smaller value between the two, incremented by one, to account for x. So the plus one actually plus one accounts for node itself. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity, let's go to O of n, where n is the number of nodes in a tree. O of n is visit each node once. So our space complexity is go to O of h, where h is the height of the tree. It's the recursive call stack memory. Now let's go over the code. So return if roots is equal to null, then we're gonna just return zero. Else we're gonna get the minimal depth. So get min depth root. If node is equal to null, we have found an invalid path. So when we turn a very large value, so we will never pick this path. So if node.left you go to node and node.right go to the node we have found leaf node so we'll, we'll have an initial depth of 1 then we're going to cursively so we're going to pick the small value between the minimum depth of the left subtree 
and then the minimum depth for the right subtree incremented by one to account for the current. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.